Uh, this is a challenge because you guys threw the gauntlet down. You said, JJ, can you show us how to crush your cravings? Give us 10 tips to crush your cravings in 10 minutes or less. And I said, Ugh, easy peasy, I can do. I could probably do 100, but I'll, I'll keep it to 10. So here I go. Do we have the timer ready? Countdown clock. Let's do this thing. I'm going to start with number one. Number one, the, the bigger challenge for me, honestly, isn't giving you all these cravings crushers. It's going to be to write legibly. So number one is sugar impact plate. Eat by the sugar impact plate. Here's what I mean by that. You're going to eat. You, well, I love you to add before you take away. So you're going to be eating healthy fats, clean, lean protein, and fiber. That trifecta helps you give you nice, steady supply of blood sugar to the brain because it's when you go up and down and crash that you're going to go racing for the cookie. So when you eat by the sugar impact plate, that means you're going to add before you take away. Add in those healthy proteins like wild fish, grass-fed beef, or my vegan all-in-one shake. Add in those healthy fats like raw nuts and seeds and avocado and coconut. And then get yourself a lot of fiber. One of the things I love about avocado is it's a two for one. You get some great healthy fats and you get the fiber. So number one, eat by the sugar impact plate. A lot of times you're reaching for those carbs because you just didn't give yourself your body what it really needed. Okay, number two, we talked about this with Shaleen. We talked about HIIT training or burst training. I like to say burst to blast fat. Burst to blast fat. Now, well, here's what's cool about burst training. It's going to it's going to start to use up your fat storing enzymes. Get rid of those but it gives you a big endorphin response. So often we go for the sugar because we want that endorphin hit. We'll get the endorphin hit and burst the fat too, blast the fat too, by just doing burst training. How do you do it? You're gonna go all out for 30 to 60 seconds and then recover for twice as long. Now, one of the unlock bonuses that we're hoping that we get to is Shaleen's Eat Lean Train Mean Program. And in there, she's got all sorts of quick hard workouts that will do just this. Again, burst burst of blast fat, raise those endorphins. All right, number three, lemonade. Now, we just made lemonade with Shaleen, and lemonade is such an awesome drink for you to do because it helps crush your cravings immediately. That sour takes your sweet tooth away, and of course, we also know that lemon juice helps balance blood sugar, lower the blood sugar response to a meal. The other things we threw into that lemonade, glutamine powder. So uh, the amino acid glutamine can trick your brain into thinking you had a little protein and stop those sugar cravings. And then if you throw a little chia seeds in or some fiber, it's just going to slow that blood sugar response so you feel full or longer. And of course, we know water does that too. One of the big things with water, so often we're not hungry, we're just thirsty. And water boosts your metabolism every time you drink it, especially if it's colder water. So use that trick. Every time you drink, you're boosting your metabolism as much as 30%. That could be three or 400 more calories a day. But make sure you're doing the lemonade with the sour to take that sweet tooth away. All right, next one. I find that a lot of people blow it in the evening. They're sniffing around looking for a little treat. I say go get in the bathtub because if you're in the bathtub, you are not in the kitchen. But it turns out that a hot bath does even more than that because one of the things that really makes us crave the carbs, crave the sweets, is stress. And, you know, it's kind of hard pressed. I'm hard pressed to find someone who's not under some kind of stress nowadays. When you're stressed, you raise cortisol. That's actually going to lower serotonin and dopamine and send you rushing for the carbs. So it turns out that when you take a hot bath, you lower your stress hormones. So one of the things that I've made a nightly routine wherever I am, so whether I'm in a hotel or at home, is every night I take a nice hot bath and I lower my stress hormones. That also helps get you ready for a really good night's sleep. And I'm going to talk about that that's going to be one of these two all right next one come here dr stephen masley come here oh, come here he's like what are we doing next one is hug someone Ooh, okay bye-bye <laughs> he's coming in a little bit but hug someone hugging that was a really good hug dr stephen masley hugging raises oxytocin that that oxytocin bonding hormone that's going to make you feel good and help you handle stress better so hug someone it turns out it's really about quantity here i mean quality matters too i just had a really good quality hug but quantity is big too so Hug someone a couple times a day. Four seems to be the magic number, but I think four is better, right? Okay, so huggy. And if you're so lucky that you can hug Dr. Stephen Masley, there you go. 
It's a good day for JJ. All right, there's the first five. How am I doing? I am right on track. All right, next. After hug someone, you probably wouldn't have thought of this one. Digestive enzymes. Why am I saying this? Well, I talked about eating by the sugar impact plate, right? I talked about eating by the sugar impact plate and getting in those healthy fats and the clean, lean protein. But not only do you've got to put them in your mouth, your body has to be able to break them down. And if you're over the age of 30, 35, or you're under any kind of stress, or maybe you're drinking a ton of water when you eat instead of drinking it in between your meals, you could be diluting your stomach acid or not having enough to begin with. And then you're not able to break down your protein or break down your fat. So I find that for anyone over 30, 35, I like to give them a trial of digestive enzymes, especially those that help break down protein, betaine, the proteases. And I'll give you a little, little one because I have to bring this up. I'm always talking potty stuff. But if you've got an oily, oily toilet, try doing some lipase, some things that help to break down fat. Or if you take fish oils and you start to burp them up a little bit, try taking some, some enzymes to help you break down fat. So enzymes are critical here. If you feel like you ate and you're feeling like a snake, like nothing's moving, try some digestive enzymes. Give those a trial. Now I will give you a little, another little boost on the digestive enzymes. The ones I use do not do anything to help you break down amylase, or, or they don't have amylase in them to help you break down carbs. You don't want to actually break your carbs down faster. You want to be good with digesting protein and fat and bad with digesting your carbohydrates, so you slow the blood sugar response to the brain. Next one. My nemesis, yoga or meditation. So yoga and meditation can help lower stress hormones as well. I, every year, have said I'm going to do yoga, and every year it never seems to happen. So what I've really looked at there is find that thing that's your version of yoga or your version of meditation. What is helping you calm down? It could be walking your dog. It could be doing some gentle stretching. It could be listening to some music. So whatever it is that's sort of your yoga meditation, make it yours, own it, and lower your stress, stress hormones that way. Now, I'm going to put yoga but it was kind of yoga at all, right? Next, an accountability partner. In my programs, this is something I have everybody do, is get an accountability partner. This is so amazing because you know what? Things are gonna come up along the way that can derail you, but one of the ways that you can avoid getting derailed is to have a lifeline, to have that person that you can call, that you can text and go, oh my gosh, I'm standing here in a sea of cheesecakes, like Jeff talked about. You know, help, SOS. So have someone who you share your journals with. One of the most essential ways for you to ensure your success is to write everything down that you eat in a journal. In fact, people who journal are twice as successful as people who don't. So make sure you're journaling and then share that with your accountability partner. Also, share your goals with your accountability partner. People who write down their goals are 40% more likely to have those goals happen and people who share those goals are 80% more likely. So find an amazing accountability partner and both of you can go up together. Because you know what, it's interesting. One of these things we've seen about whether it's your income or your weight is that they all tend to be contagious. We tend to be like most like the people we hang out the most with. So find fitter friends who really are moving forward in their life and have them as your accountability partner. All right, next one. Laugh. I saw an amazing study and it was in the, the title of the study said laugh your fat off. Laugh your fat off because you know what laughing does? Laughing boosts serotonin and if you're boosting serotonin you're not craving sugar. And I mean, it couldn't be more easy nowadays. You can just go on YouTube and look at a funny video. But take some time out every day and get some laughter in because it can make a big difference here. And you'll notice that I'm giving you all of the stuff and none of it is eat a cookie, right? <laughs> None of it. So all these things are easy things. They don't cost anything to incorporate in. You can do this stuff. And the final one is get a good night's sleep or take a nap. Now, here's the deal. One poor night of sleep. You know what happens with one poor night of sleep? You are more insulin resistant. Your serotonin's lower. Your cortisol's higher. So one poor night of sleep, you are hungrier and it's not for salmon and broccoli. You are hungrier for carbs, you need the quick pick-me-ups, and then once you get started on that cycle, it's really hard to get off. So one of the most critical things that you can do is start to make time for sleep. Seven to nine hours of sleep during the normal circadian rhythm, that means go to bed around 10, get up around six or seven, every single day will make a massive difference 
in your cravings. And there you go, there are 10 cravings crushers in under 10 minutes. And now I've got some really fun news because yes, we got enough of you to jump inside the program. And I saw I, uh, on, the, on the last video, I was checking on Twitter, and you guys are sharing away about this, and I so appreciate that, getting on social media, getting other people involved, getting your friends involved, and that means that we get to unlock Shalene Johnson's bonus items. So I'm gonna welcome some of the new people that just jumped in. Thank you so much, Nanette from Chula Vista, right down the street, Nancy from Bethlehem, Irene from Hellerton, Chris from Shorewood, Louise from, or that's Lois, sorry, from Boynton Beach, Kathleen from Western Springs, Deanne from Luz, and Jennifer from Fort Lee, and Peggy from Cary, North Carolina. I used to live there. Don from Whiting, New Jersey, and Deborah from Terrace, Utah, and Marie from Stephenville, Texas, and Thecla from Medical Lake, Washington. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to have you all on board. I'm so excited that we got to unlock that awesome, awesome, awesome bonus from Shaleen. And I have great news for you now I you saw a little you saw a little bit of this because I had Dr. Stephen Masley run over here and give me a hug and so we have him in studio as you see so wave say hi there he is there's Dr. Stephen Masley he is going to be with me we are going to be cooking up a storm with Dr. Stephen Masley because he is not only a doctor he is also a chef so stay tuned we're going to go to a quick video and when we come back it's going to be me and Dr. Stephen Masley in the house. My advice from my experience is to give it a shot, uh, but prepare yourself. Read the information, um, prepare your head and your schedule. Get your pantry and your refrigerator ready um, and get people to, to do it with you. Find a friend or your family because that support is, is key, I feel. Um, and track your progress um, because it helps you connect the dots between um, the changes you're making and how you're feeling and looking. And um, give it three weeks. In my experience, after three weeks, there's no way I was going back to how I was eating before. Um, and the same for my family and, and my extended family that's now incorporating this too. And what's three weeks um, to make a, a huge difference in your life? And um, good luck. Hi, my name is Kelly Dorr. I'm from Indianapolis area, Whiteland actually. And I'm a stay at home mother, grandmother, housewife. So all my life I've tried everything there was to losing weight. I mean, even from a little girl, I was always upset about my weight. And I've jumped on every bandwagon there is. I've done everything. And when I read JJ's book, it just clicked. And so I thought, I'm gonna do this. And I did, I did it. I even had a doctor tell me that I was cheating on his plan that he gave me. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not. I'm doing everything right. I'm drinking my water, I'm eating what I should, I'm measuring everything, I'm counting points, I'm doing everything right. And he's like, well, you have to be cheating. I'm like, I'm not. And he goes, well, then maybe you should start smoking. What? <laughs> About four weeks into the sugar impact, I dropped like 10, 11 pounds, three inches on my waist, almost four inches on my hips. I'm like, holy cow, I, that's more weight than I've done, on, or more inches than I've done on any other diet I've ever tried. And. I had kind of was struggling a little bit and JJ was, she goes, show me your food journal because that's really important. <laughs> and so I showed it to her and I'm like, this is what I'm doing. And she goes, cut this out. And I cut out one little thing and I dropped five pounds that week. And it was just like a little bit of coffee creamer. I mean, that was about the only thing I was having. And it's like, that's when I realized how much sugar can impact your body is one little thing I can take out and I can lose five pounds in a week. I'm like, holy cow, that's, that's gone every week now. <laughs> I don't need it. And, and after a couple days, I didn't miss it. You know, so bye bye coffee creamer. This book, The Sugar Impact, just clicked with me. You know, I never gave up because I knew that something with my body just wasn't the typical, you know, jump on this bandwagon and, and go with it and you'll do great. My body was different, and JJ says that over and over. She says, treat your body like a chemistry lab. Um, and that's what I did, and that's what she 
enlightened me to do. And through her guidance and her hard work, I've been able to find out what my body needs. And all I can say is thank you. <laughs>